Scorpio, how you doing? We're doing a reading for you for mid-May to June of this current year. Time's really flying, isn't it? Ridiculously so. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you want a personal reading, my email is down below. I do not charge, but I do take donations. My PayPal is there in the description as well. Do us with those what you will. I really don't care. Either way, we're going to have a fun, fun time. Hopefully. We're going to do a six ways spread. This resonates with your cool beans. If not, don't worry about it because it's just a card game after all. Boom. We got for you. The King of Cups could be you. Also, Pisces and Cancer. Trying to get in touch with your emotions so you can feel everything around you and make shit bloom. What you're wanting and wishing for is the Magician Reverse, so possibly some manipulative stuff going on. <laughs> Fears and rejections. The Six of Cups. Memories. Possibly a person from the past who's now a shadow in your current, present time. But the memory still lingers. The situation is the Eight of Wands. You are taking off, getting ready to go. What's coming against you as an obstacle and challenge to overcome is the world reverse. Things are just not coming together no matter how much you bind them to your arms to pull them together. And then we got a burden that's just becomes stagnant. It isn't moving forward with the Ten of Wands reversed. And the beginning theme is Four of Pentacles. You're feeling pretty. Um, I'm not saying paranoid, because that doesn't sound right with this. It's like there's something in the back of your mind, even though like you got this to treasure up. But that thing in the back of your mind is making you paranoid about this one. So it's like you're doubling your security around it, putting extra cameras there and all sorts. It's, it's, it's like that feeling like you don't want to let something go. Even though this other thing behind you is back there. It's like you value this despite... Hmm. Interesting. It's like something didn't, took off but it didn't go the way it's planned and that's why you feel stuck in all of this. It's like you're trying to get yourself back to thinking even after the world came reversed, didn't work out the way you planned, and like you got memories haunting you a little bit about it. Is that about right? Speaking of King of Cups, okay. He was heartbroken with the Three of Swords. Aw. There's heartbreak involved here. Either he broke someone's heart trying to get himself, um,. Trying to get him, himself emotionally, like, centered. He might have caused some heartbreak. Or someone did this to him, and that's what he's trying to, um, get out of. But that energy's harsh to deal with. Now, what got launched ahead in the situation was an offer that kind of devoured people. Because it's a dragon. It's an offer from a dragon. This dragon was not trustworthy. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, reverse. Hmm. You took a shit offer that, like, backfired on you, literally with that dragon, and it led to a broken heart. Hmm. Wants and wishes with the star, man. That was a book. That's a lot of cards, but that's okay. Yeah, so there was a lot of heartbreak, and it kind of led to this endless cycle of stuff, right? Where... The past kept coming up and someone kept saying, well, I'm leaving, but they never left, right? So then, like, someone felt really tortured about what was going on in their mind so badly that it just kept them from getting a good night's rest. It kept them worried. Maybe they were, like, being verbally harassed to the sense where they felt like nothing would work out for them in a way. But in truth, someone was completely ungrounded in this situation and was not willing to 
try to communicate or even come together to make something work of this. Everybody had a different plan. Everybody had a different scenario to go about. And because of this, it just left possibly you, Scorpio, or the person you're dealing with, just fighting for the sake of fighting, where y'all were just being petty with each other excessively, where it's like, oh, well, since you're mad at me, I guess I'm going to be mad at you back, and which is just, I, I don't understand that at all. That makes no sense to me, but it's whatever. Anyway, it's like someone let their emotions get out of control to the point where they started to become selfish and probably start squabbles here and there. Like... Or it was like every time someone offered their cup, it was really much of an illusion because it was really just about them. And that's what started all of the bickering to begin with. So that was the story of the Starman Reverse. Uh, let's see. Yeah, someone's still looking for reason to stay. Uh, even after all of that that I just picked up. <laughs> and with the World Reverse... Something didn't come together despite the fact that you tried your best. Scorpios. You you offered that cup to that dragon. It's got its back turned to you. Like you approached it, literally. Like she's literally taking her cup over there to them. Overflowing with emotion and then boom, heartbreak. And now you gotta fix yourself. Now you gotta get yourself back in tune after all this heartbreak. The dragon wasn't going to be in your favor, I don't think at all, regardless. Now we got the six of cups here. The past, right? Someone wasted time. Someone spent too much time looking like a martyr. That's the fear right here. That someone's going to... Well, that's the hangman. Hmm. Hmm. It's like they're looking back at how this person did nothing but wasted time. Or made themselves look like a victim. Like, you know, he's just staring off in the distance. Like, you know, he don't notice nothing, even though the clock's ticking right behind him. Like, he's just like, mm, 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 mm. Like, I don't see nothing at all. At all. I don't know what's going on. Like, I mean, like it, it's like someone's looking back at this person who is from back in the day, and just wasting time with it. Really, they were a waste of time. Uh, ten of wands reversed. The stagnant energy that will not lift the burden. It is what started this, and is what is ending this at this point. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Sagittarian energy. Um, nothing's happening. Nothing's moving forward. Like, it's literally just stuck. Like, whatever it is, it is stuck. It is just... Swamp of sadness. Your pet horse died. In the never-ending story, stuck. It is stuck. Wow. Uh, communication is the ending theme with the Four of Pentacles reversed. Needing to communicate. Um, this slight obsession, I want to say. With somebody or something that is just. I mean, it's one thing to hold something in your hands, but it's another thing to glorify it, you know? It's like someone needs to communicate that this isn't healthy in order to get healthy again, you know? To look over her shoulder and see what this all is. Let's see what the first advice card is for you, Scorpios. Hmm. Like, I feel like you guys really tried here. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you did. 
Yeah, nothing it, it, with this offer with the broken heart. Just nothing worked. Nobody was working on the same stuff, and if they even tried to, there was a lack of cooperation there. Could have even dealt with work somewhere. Like maybe somebody was having issues in the workplace. And yeah, the tower hit. Um, someone, you know, whatever. Like this person who's in red. I think they're the one that hit the ground. And they might be the ones who realized that they wanted some reason to stay. But, well, no, this is your possible wants and wishes, Scorpio, or whoever else is so. This is you. Um, you might have manifested poorly for this person to want to stay. <clears throat> or you couldn't manifest it because they already hit reality and you just haven't yet. But the, this is a tower moment where you keep trying to offer your cup and, like, it's just not working. It's not working. Like, you can't just bring this person to um, see you. And it's like, no, it's because, like... Or you can't bring this person to you. And it's like... It's like you haven't realized it yet that you're just offering to a dragon that's never going to work. Yeah, because, like, you guys are just... Whoever you're with... No. You realize after... It, it's almost like you realize after I keep trying to work on this over and over again and you're still just not getting anything out of it. It's like it finally hits you that this breakup is possibly for the best. Because this person was wasting your time to begin with, I feel like. <clears throat> I think you need to communicate your insecurities. But, that's your reading and thank you very much for watching it. Um... Take care, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.